Okay. Let's get this meeting star board of directors meeting started. So uh, we've got to do the pledge and all that stuff first, right? Roll call. Call the roll. All right. Do board member call. Schroeder? Here. Board member Fisichelli? Here. Board member Jablonski? Here. Vice Chair Bright Cruz? Here. Chair McKay? Here. Let's please stand for the pledge. Is Rick here? Or Rick start here? No, no, that's the okay. Uh, you got right. approval, approval of the minutes. Of minutes. For June 23rd, 16. Make a motion to approve. Second. Second. Any public comment on this? I don't think so. But, okay. Back to us. Nothing, no, no corrections or anything from us? All right. Roll call, please, I guess. Board Schroeder? Board Member Schroeder? Yes. Board Member Fisichelli? Yes. Board Member Jablonski? Yes. Vice Chair Brightcruz? Yes. Chair McKay? Yes. Uh, reports of any committees? No have, committee we, reports. Yeah, we have we have we have no committee officer or old business tonight, man. Uh, board okay. chair. Okay. Mr. Chair. All right. Uh, no new business. Any no, new business? New business we have. Okay. All right. Who yeah, the, fir the first order of new business, Mayor, is the uh, approval of the fiscal year 1718 volunteer fire fund and the fire operational budget. And uh, the town finance director uh, would like to share with you uh, some information on that item. Marty, you're up. Good evening, Board of Directors. Uh, for the record, my name is Martin Sherwood, the Town Financial Administrator. T tonight is our regular annual meeting of the 501c34 nonprofit organization, uh, otherwise known as the Southwest Ranches Volunteer Fire Rescue, Inc. Can you hear me okay with this? Uh, can't tell if she uh, can turn you up on. a little more okay. if you want. Um, page three, um, the important thing to the, the, the distinction of this fund as a blended component unit, I have been asked, and for the record, I'd I just like to convey to you all, why is it called a blended component unit is because uh, the volunteers have the unique characteristic of having their operations through two areas. One is the general fund and th second through the Volunteer Fire Rescue Inc. Special Fund, otherwise known as Fund 102, Special Fund. So um, page three gives you an overview of the fund. Uh, tonight we're going to take care of the budget aspect of only the Fund 102. Uh, if we go right to page Eight of 46. It's the colored one. Uh, it'll give you an overall f public safety fire budget. The important thing I wanted to highlight is in yellow, which is the Station 82 uh, direct and indirect components uh, and the total cost of the Volunteer Fire uh, Department. Uh, the ex a proposed budget, uh, and by the way, all these items uh, already has gone through the Fire Advisory Board over a three, four month process, involves extensive program mods and uh, CIPs, but that we'll be covering later. Uh, distinctly as it relates to the Fund 102, you will see the Volunteer Fire Fund portion has a total proposed budget of 414680 now that does have an increase uh, from last year of 288,264, but you will see as we get into the formal budget process, it's all made up of machinery and equipment needs, which are health and safety that we will be covering as part of the budget process. Uh, with that in mind, uh, for an overall overview process, 
out of the 414,680, if we go back to pages, uh, pages six uh, and seven, which are the revenue and the expenditure side, uh, you will see a, a total budget 17 and 18 proposed tonight of $197,771. Uh, that's what we need to approve tonight as, as part of discussion. Uh, one material item uh, I'd like to identify to the public, to you all tonight, is the fact that the um, a officer vehicle, we have one a large item for $38,447, is the planned proposed purchase of a officer a vehicle to replace the aging vehicle we have currently. And that is coming out of the fundraising reserves. Uh, with that background um, uh, given, I'd like to turn it back to you, Mayor, if there's any other open discussion or if anyone has any other questions. OK, anybody else have any other questions? OK. All right. Do you need a, an approval of that one at a time, or what are we doing? Yes, for the minutes, I'd like an approval of the budget as presented, that it could be rolled up into our um, full town-wide budget at a later date. Make a motion to approve. Second. Any public comment? Seeing no public comment, public comment is closed. Back to us. I guess call the question. Board Member Schroeder? Yes. Board Member Fisichelli? Yes. Board Member Jablonski? Yes. Vice Chair Bright Cruz? Yes. Chair McKay? Yes. All right. Oh. Uh, oh. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you, Board. Uh, we have a few other cleanup items I'd like to cover. Uh, tonight, we have approval of two tax returns. One is the approval of uh, the 2015, and that's fiscal year 15. And uh, it represents IRS, as you know, works in the past, but municipal governments work in the future. So uh, the, our fiscal year 15 represents the calendar 2014 for IRS 990 tax filing. Uh, we've provided you copies. It's required by IRS rules and regulations and nonprofit within the state of Florida to get approval of each annual tax return. Uh, the uh, 15, uh, we um, had an extension, so that's why we're um, delayed in getting it approved tonight. And the 16, which was the calendar 15, uh, Form 990, uh, we also need to get approved tonight as well. Uh, the numbers are um, uh, in sync uh, with the audit, our CAFA report, and there's no change at all in regards to what has been audited uh, from our external audit firm. Do we need separate motions on those two, or is yeah. one motion for both? Can we do one motion for both? Yes. Yes. I'll, I'll make a motion to improve uh, both the uh, fiscal year uh, 2015 and 2016 uh, tax returns. Second. Okay. Any public comment? Seeing no public comment, public comment is closed. Back to us. See no other discussion. Call the question, please. Board Member Schroeder? Yes. Board Member Fisichelli? Yes. Board Member Jablonski? Yes. Vice Chair Brightcruz? Yes. Chair McKay? Yes. Th thank you. We're moving on to D, which are our official appointments uh, for the bylaws. Uh, the first one being the appointment of Assistant Chief Chris Perino as Vice President and Treasurer and the appointment of uh, our chairman, Doug McKay, as secretary, uh, to also uh, get this in the minutes and the records, please. Motion to approve. Second. Any public comment? Seeing no public comment, public comment is closed. Back to us. Any discussion? Seeing no discussion, call the question. Board Member Schroeder? Yes. Board Member Fisichelli? Yes. Board Member Jablonski? Yes. Vice Chair Bycruz? Yes. Chair McKay? Yes. All right. Good, good and well for us. Is that you, Andy? 
Oh, that's just it. <laughs> if any of the board members had any comments they wanted to make. Otherwise, uh, we're done with the business for this meeting. Okay. No other discussion? All right. I guess we're adjourned on, uh, on this. Do I pass that on to somebody else to adjourn it? No, you can. Okay, I guess this meeting's adjourned. Yeah. Okay. All right. Done till seven. Done till seven. Okay. So we have.